Hey guys, welcome to Podiatry Practice Mastery. Don here. Um, I'm gonna uh, tell a little bit, uh, talk a little bit today about my patient presentations. And I've talked to you guys about these before if you've listened to some of these other episodes. But I want to tell you a little bit about the background. Um, the background of, of doing these presentations, it actually started um, with um, uh, when, when I was, uh, had a poor surgical outcome. Okay, for a lack of better term, uh, the the surgical outcome was actually okay. It's just the patient, uh, she was not. She ended up. We found out later she was on some narcotics and things like that. But anyway, it was a learning experience for me. And um, one of the allegations was I I didn't get um, surgical consent or I didn't do a really great informed consent. And uh, I remember that day that I did two neuroma removals that day. And uh, this was one of the neuromas, uh, I'm sorry, two seismoid removals. And this was one of the seismoids that didn't go so well. And um, and she had a kind of a challenging outcome and this and that. And so as I went back, you can always think uh, about what, why did this happen to me or why did this happen for me? And, I, and I've kind of learned this during Strategic Coach and I'm doing this course with Ben Hardy right now. It's an online course. We talk, it talks a lot about that. Like, so what, when, what you can do with that, how you can take something that's maybe painful and transform it. And so I was looking at this whole situation of uh, not, I guess they uh, alleged I didn't go over the, everything in detail. When I, I started to evaluate, I looked at, well, what were the facts? Well, the, the facts were I always had a, a pre-surgical discussion with my patients where I went over the details. But in this specific case, I think she wanted it earlier, so I, I didn't have that extra separate visit with her. And, and then I, I went over things prior and, you know... I'm not sure. If, anyway, so there's a lot of, I don't know what would happen, but what I realized, the, what I could fix in the future is making sure I do a pre-surgical discussion with them, document in my chart, and that's where I figured, well, I, I was kind of being um, very, a little bit careless with my pre-surgical discussion. Basically, I would talk to them about things. I would have them find, sign the consent, and I would you know, go over a few things. But maybe if it's about a neuroma, I would talk about a stump neuroma. If it was a bun, about a bunion, I would talk about some of the post-surgical swelling and possible uh, AVN or things like that. But I wasn't really that detailed. And that's where I went, well, if I could do it, again, what would I have done different? And what I would have done different is uh, that's where my first presentation came in. It's a PowerPoint I did on Google. I think it was in PowerPoint in the beginning, but then I moved it to Google Slides. And I put up a couple of slides about, like, a, I called a pre-surgical discussion. And uh, it started with a couple of slides, and then it's kind of increased. And then I, I went through, like, what the whole surgical experience would be like at the hospital. I kind of explained this to them. And then I also went over... Um, what are the possible complications? That was the main reason. So they had really good informed consent. And then after I did that, then they signed the informed consent. So now I always do this before my surgeries. And that was the first one. The first one looked pretty shoddy. Uh, I did it, you know, it was just black and white and a few pictures and things like that. And then I sent it out to someone in Fiverr, which is that place where you can, they'll do stuff for five or 10 bucks. And they designed it, uh, for, I don't know, 20 bucks and it made it look really nice. And, uh, and, and then from that one, that it kind of changed how I did surgery. So it just kind of reduced my stress level because I knew everyone was getting a good presentation on it. I even then took that same presentation and I recorded it and then I put it on my YouTube. So if someone's thinking about doing surgery, I will send that to them prior. I can send them that video via Patient Education Genius. And all these things you can guys can find on the on the uh, resources section here on Podiatry Practice Mastery, these things I'm talking about. But um, that's, that was the first one. The first one was my pre-surgical discussion. And uh, let me go over a little bit just kind of what's, what's in there. Basically, I, I go over uh, the surgery. Uh, I say, you know, what's the surgery? What's the recovery time? Um, I have in there um, what, like the check my prescription monitoring report. So basically I have a little reminder in there that'll make me, has it's a big uh, yellow button <laughs> that makes me go and, and look at the prescription monitoring report to make sure that I have narcotics. And then uh, I go over like what type of a block they're going to have. I give an example of a popliteal block in there or just a regular block. Um, I show them pictures of that. I talk about anesthesia. I talk about uh, their recovery time. I talk about how they're going to stay off their foot afterwards. 
what type of thing they're going to use. If it's a surgical shoe, a walking boot, and even up uh, to even up the sides. If you guys don't do that, by the way, we sell those in the office. Even ups, they work really well. Uh, so when they're wearing a walking boot, even for fractures and everything else, they get an even up with it. I talk about a shower cover, and then they'll get the shower cover. Um, I talk about narcotics, what type of medications they're going to get, how long they're going to be on those narcotics. So all that's in that presentation. And it, and it doesn't take that long. It only takes me about 10 minutes to do this. And then I have all the complications where I can talk about it could have a nerve injury, could be bleeding, could be amputation, could be loss of limb, could be loss of life, all these things. And usually by the time I get done, they're pretty scared uh, of, uh, of these uh, after doing this, which is kind of the point, right, of, of doing that. So that's the one I, I started with. And then what I'll talk about uh, next time is I'll talk a little bit more about my other two favorite ones that I use the most are with for Achilles tendonitis and plantar fasciitis, and I'll talk about a couple of aspects of that. But um, underneath this episode, I'm going to put a link uh, when it's done. It'll it'll be a uh, basically a free a free download of my top three presentations, and so basically you can take a look at those. What I would recommend if you are going to use them. Uh, I would recommend um, taking the PowerPoint and uploading it into Google Google Slides, and then just um, p- tagging it to your browser. That's the that's the best thing. That's the best way to do it, in my opinion. So whenever whatever treatment room you're on, you can just pull it up, look at it that way. Um, if you're kind of high tech and you want to do more, you could record the video. That's kind of a step two type of thing. You can use it to make books and other things like that if you want. That's like step three. But we'll, we'll kind of get into those things, but we'll talk about them one at a time. Okay? Um, hope you guys find this helpful. Um, please uh, share this uh, podcast with others, and give me a, give me a comment. Uh, if you could just do a, um, a review on there to say, hey, this was good, or thumbs up. I don't know how it is, whatever podcast uh, thing you're using to listen to this. But put something in there so other podiatrists could know. And uh, if you do that... Uh, send me an email and I will send you a special gift. I'll send you like a, I have a a special course that I'm putting together here that'll talk more about these tips. Okay. Uh, Okay. Thanks guys. Have a great day.